Anyway, time for me to be a comedian without me knowing it. Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. Om um, nom nom. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. Oh. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Many evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here. But I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me alive one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me a new one. One who was recently human. I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Cállense. No puedo creer cómo se portan. Clowns again, eh? Had enough of clowns when we were, uh, Fighting the, uh... Zombies with the American army. Anyway, where can we go to find a fresh undead? Hey, hey. Will we find one on the way to Casa Madrigada, which is also where we find the best gunslinger in the West? Ah, Sepulcro. I thought I recognised the area. I'll be seeing you later on. Again. What would happen if I just tossed a bottle of undead bait? Let's go. Would some undead just come along? Seems unlikely. Seems kinda unlikely. Keep a bottle out just in case. No, that's a. Uh, I think they're both bolters. Yeah, I think they are both bolters. I recognise them. I recognise those models. I'll just I'll toss a bottle anyway. See what happens. Ah! What's that? That's a bruiser. No use to me. It's a fresh undead I'm after. Let's go. Yeah. While we're here. Tell you what, let's just go see Landon Ricketts right now. I was planning to go see him um, after I'd cleansed Sepulcro for Mother Superior. But since we're here, we'll just do it right now. Let me just hitch my horse. Oh, I went right past the post. And I remember when I was in Armadillo, I managed to get on a normal horse, and then I lost it afterwards because I forgot to hitch it. I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys. But you really need a bath. Do you think I like shooting women, you filthy whoremongering wretch? 
Gracias, señores, que estaba viendo a mi tía, que tal vez ya desculpada. Y, yeah, y yeah, get out of here. Go on. Go on, get it. Eh, ándale, gracias. Adiós. Hello, Mr. Ricketts. Hello, John. I see you're enjoying another vacation in our little resort. Something like that. Well, we got sunshine, sand, and a plague that makes people eat each other. Come to think of it, it must feel just like America to you. What is going on? I thought things were calmer in Mexico. This is calm. What's a little light cannibalism among friends? Excuse me. So, how have you been? Good. Well, apart from my wife and son being tied up and trying to rip my soul clean out of my body, <laughs> and the entire earth turning into hell. Good. Real good. You know, John, I've lived a long life. I've seen this land when it was just wilderness and scrub. I've seen missionaries nailed to crosses by shaman and burn into just the cinders of their misguided devotion. I've seen slaves get set free and return to a bondage even more confusing than the one they left behind. I've seen diseases wipe out entire communities in a weekend. I've seen bad men make their own Valhalla out in the bush, with harems of maidens and the hunting of men as a sport. I've seen men struggle with principles and morals and the very meaning of existence. I've killed all that can be killed. Your point? And that's a firecracker up the ass. In all my natural born days, seen anything quite like this. Nor me, sir. Now, if uh, we could only get something that uh, would attract these blighters, we could kill them faster and, and maybe return this land to its uh, natural state. Some kind of bait? Exactly. Boom bait. I think I might know how. And more dynamite. I'm running pretty low. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, John. And take care. Boom headshot. So. I said so, not come. We are going to El Matadero. Because according to something I read on the Red Dead Wiki, you get dynamite for saving this town, El Matadero, right here. Right, zombies. Ah, now then. Let's see if we can do that challenge. Ow. Stop, stop, stop. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, that's shit. I thought I hit five. See if we can do this challenge, come on. Knock them over. And set them alight. I don't know how many that is now. Well that's five now, okay. Right. She's a bit close. So be careful. Undead I mean dead eyes running out quickly. Who fucking yeah? That's how it's done. Cat. Boom. Anyone? Oh, I. I'm rejuvenated now. What's the next undead challenge? Ah. Very good. Do we have a bolter, a bruiser, 
a red shirt and a fresh undead all in the same place. Well, do we? I don't know. Oh, why do I? Excuse me. Get the fuck out of it. Ah, okay, 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 hold on. Just one second. Right. Damn, I can't see the bolter now. No, I can't. Quick. Looks like one of them I killed wasn't a bruiser. I definitely saw a bolter, a fresh undead, and a wretcher. Bruiser, I'm not so sure about. I only shot him because he looked fat. Never mind. There we go. And there's my dynamite that I longed for. I'll see you guys once I've looted all these bodies and chests. As in treasure chests. Then again, it could be human chests, you never know. Yeah, war. Good luck getting in here to try and get to me. <laughs> that was a bit of a waste of time. I mainly got ammo for weapons I don't use very often.